for us, moving on a little bit in your food and beverage news, mm -hmm. it's a staple of our morning. It's the only way you get us up on this set. Mm -hmm. And I am talking about what is in this cup. Third it is cup. Third cup. Tell the it's truth. It's a third cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. The UK is trying to stop one group from getting their hands on those grounds. Yasmin <laughs> Tayag from Inverse gave me all of the details about this coffee ban. This story was personally tragic for me, but the U some UK coffee chains are talking about putting limits or a drinking age on coffee. Can you talk about uh, how did this start and why would they want to do this to people? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it seems a bit cruel. In early November, Costa Coffee decided they would no longer sell caffeinated drinks to people under 16. So Costa Coffee, accounts for about 40% of the chain coffees shops in the UK. And that's this, they've got a lot of shops. And now if you look underage and you show up, they can card you in the way you would get carded at a bar if you look too young to have caffeine. And this all started um, months back, not in relation to coffee, but in relation to energy drinks, mm -hmm. which a lot of healthcare professionals are worried are, you know, causing behavioral and physical problems in adolescents. Sure, energy drinks and coffee both have caffeine in it, but the critics of this ban say that energy drinks and coffee are two very different drinks. Mm -hmm. And there was an expert in your story who's not convinced that all of this is necessary. Can you kind of talk about why people are against this ban. The thing is, caffeine in itself, we don't know if it's actually bad for <laughs> teens. You know, clearly it's okay at moderate levels for adults. In Europe, like the guidelines for adults are about 400 milligrams a day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, considering that a coffee or an energy drink for that matter contains about 80 to 90 milligrams, that's not, that's quite a lot of caffeine you can consume safely. In the US, uh, pediatricians think kids can have about 100 milligrams safely, so it's lower for kids. In general, the critics think that caffeine in itself is not the problem and it's just overconsumption. So everything in moderation should be okay. Of course, when you have super high levels of caffeine, you can get anxiety and panic attacks and heart palpitations, but those levels of caffeine are not usually reached in normal consumption. Yeah, there was a mention in the story of someone who I believe died because they drank too much, but that was like an extreme case. That person was drinking a lot of coffee or was it energy drinks? It was a, a combination, I believe, mm -hmm. Mountain Dew and lattes and energy drinks. So yeah, overdoing it will be bad for you. One of the big differences between coffee and energy drinks is that you don't consume them in the same way. So while energy drinks might be problematic because you know they're cold, you can like crush all of many cans in one day. Coffee is something that you generally sip on. You're not drinking an excessive amount, is you know, especially if you're a teen, that's quite unusual. And so they pose different risks. So a lot of people think that this almost blanket ban on caffeinated drinks for teenagers is overkill. Uh, that said, coffee beverages are unhealthy for different reasons. Uh, a lot of the drinks that are being marketed to kids, like frappuccinos and frappes, they're really full of sugar, which may pose more of a danger to these kids than the caffeine in those drinks. Ashley, look, I've been saying it. Frappuccinos are a gateway drug. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you are who she's talking to. Everything in moderation. It's Because Starbucks knows your name, sir. Oh, Starbucks knows my name, and they know when they release something like a unicorn frappe. I'm down there to be like, what y'all talking about? Let's but, try it. You know, I mean, I feel like anything can hurt you. If you drink too much water, it can hurt you. If you... I don't know about too much broccoli. I haven't heard that one. But you know what I mean? Doing anything too much can hurt too, you. Too much broccoli's got to right. be paid for. For more information on this story, head on over to inverse.com.